Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be taking a look at the largest fire TV ever created with the largest largest that's right largest storage built into it this thing is an absolute beast and you're going to be interested in seeing it and i can't wait to show you it but to do that we have to go backwards a little bit we have to change how we're filming i couldn't even fit it in this room couldn't even get it in the office so let me know in the comments some of the videos you remember me making where do you remember me working do you remember the conservatory office the garage office let me know in the description underneath and obviously before we get started quickly if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button, because if you do have a Fire TV, if you do have a streaming device, if you do have Roku we've been doing recently, we're also doing Fire TV, and I've got my Android TV box, NVIDIA Shield, ready to go. Do remember to subscribe to the channel, come check it out, and let's get over to my other office, kitchen, and let's show you this massive Fire TV. Brilliant. So here we have it then, the largest Fire TV of them all, the Omni QLED this is a 65 inch version. I've also got a 50 inch version as well. We're going to be covering these, but they've got one great feature, which all Fire TVs and all Fire Sticks are missing. Well, say feature, one specification, and it's awesome. Look how big this thing is for one. Size wise, it's massive. But let me show you. Right, first we're going to go across to our settings. And in here, um, instead of my Fire TV like we normally have, we have device and software. And we can have a look at the about. And here, storage, 12 gigabytes available. Well, 11.44 gigabytes, with which I have 9.68 gigabytes left. I believe it comes with 16 gig in total. Obviously it has its own software put on for the actual TV itself, plus the software, obviously the user interface for Fire TV. So yes, we have 12 gigabytes. And what a lot of people question about a Fire TV device, um, especially a TV itself, can you jailbreak it? Jailbreak. What we call jailbreaking is side loading and adding apps. And yes, you can. You can add as many apps as you want on this device. It's not a problem. It installs easy, simple, the same as all other Fire TV devices. So we have that. We have a huge storage. We have a 4K screen. We have, if you push your home button, it's like an Echo Show. So it's hands free runs your house. You can even control your cameras and everything from it. What you will see come up, you get some great tabs. We can have a look at our smart home. And once we load into our smart home, we can control lights, we can control cameras. Um, I've got lights on here, a few different bedrooms. We've got cameras. You can even look at your doorbell. Ring doorbell can be linked up, no problem. I've got a video coming for that this week. So if you are interested, do hit that subscribe button. This is outside my house now, as we speak. Perfect. So that's how easy it is. Your doorbell can come through on it. It can do many other things. You can do everything you can do on a... Didn't hear me. Anything you can do normally on those sort of things, you can get it to play music. You can say, Alexa, open Doc Squiffy on YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. And you can get it to do anything, all voice activated. There was no need for the remote. Obviously, we don't want to play any videos on there, so we don't actually um, get any copyright strikes. But we could have a little look, actually, at Alexa. Play some 4K demos on YouTube. Yes, Let's look at the 4K capabilities while I move out the way. It will take you to another world. As we see there, we have some great quality 4K and the audio was spot on as well. This is just a demo video, but as you can see, for a, I'd say almost a budget TV, it's a QLED, it's great 4K resolution. You've got 16 gigabyte of storage. Um, it has a two gigabyte of RAM on there, which is plenty for streaming. Um, it's more than your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, all of that. That's all you need, as we know over years, can run all of it. When it comes to your usual content, everything else, is pretty much the same. Um, you get an inputs tab, which shows you you have one, two, three, four HDMI ports. You get an aerial port, you get a composite port, plus you get a media player where you can plug a USB in and play your media directly in the TV. This is an all built in, all in one system. 
and makes life very easy. Obviously, because your TV comes with it, it's more expensive. I will link in the description links to this. This is just being launched in the UK and there is other versions available. You may have to search on your own Amazon for it. This has so much potential. I got it on a great offer and I've decided to put it in my kitchen and I'm glad I did. I've got a 50 inch to cover for you as well coming up. So let me know what features you like about it and what you would like to see. When it comes to installing apps, as always, it's as simple as type in here, Downloader. You can install Downloader and then you can install any apps you want from around the internet as always. If you want videos on that, we've got videos on side loading all underneath. We've got videos on setting up, so do make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Everything is always on my channel already, so you can do everything you need on your massive TV. Um, movement wise, very fast. Um, it's very quick. You can obviously, you get a bigger remote so you can control more things about your TV, as always. Um, you get all your usual mutes and everything like that. You get your volume buttons, you get your channel pluses, and then you get the great home screen where you can actually run your house from. There's a new feature coming to this very, very soon, which as soon as they launch it, because I've seen it in testing, I will let you know about. But until then, that's this video and I hope you liked it. Links are underneath for it. We've also got a link underneath to IP Vanish VPN. They are a partner of ours. So if you are after a VPN at a great deal, that link is directly underneath for you as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So do remember to hit the follow button. Do remember to hit the share button and let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you soon. So as always, I hope you liked that video. Again, if you're after any more videos for your Fire Stick, your Fire TV, if you're going to get a new one, if you've got an old one, how to set it back up again. If you've got a Roku, we've got the NVIDIA Shield dugout somewhere around here. We're going to be doing some videos on coming up. We've got lots of new movies and TV show apps to cover as well. We're going to be doing it all, all on the channel. So if you have got some new content or you've got a new device, this is the channel to check out. And as mentioned, there's a great special offer currently on IP Vanish VPN. We will link that directly underneath for you. Great for your online safety. Surf the internet without a trace. Safe access online on anonymity unmetered connections and advanced encryption. One good thing about IP Vanish, you can use on unlimited devices. That's right, so unlimited devices means they're not logging your devices, they're not logging your internet use, um, simple as that. So you're nice and safe, they will keep you protected, and they're a nice big company, been going for 11 years now. So brilliant to use, and I would recommend it. Brilliant. And that's me, I'm out of here, thank you for watching, I've been Doc Squiffy, and I'll see you soon.